Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So for our second upload of the night, we're going to take on uh, Mario's Manifest Weapon. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So if you caught my first battle against A.S. Suzette, that was no cakewalk. Um, literally a couple of my characters died, but I got to finish off the battle. I'm hoping that uh, Mario's battle isn't any harder. Well, if he, she's a staff user, I'm guessing that she's going to be very similar to Yuna in that she's going to have a mix of uh, physical and magical attacks. Keep in mind that her main offensive attacks are um, obviously Holy Burst or Shining Ray. And um, otherwise, you know, she'll have Aurora Force, which she used in the first turn. And keep in mind that most Manifest Battles also use their VCs as well, which will be a type resistance type thing. So uh, being that she does have... Oh, there you go. Her Holy Burst is now an AoE. So I'm assuming that's one of the um, characteristics of the Manifest Weapon once you obtain it and level it up. So keep in mind that with the um, Aurora Force in play, all your elemental attacks will be reduced in damage by 50% unless you remove it with someone like Mana. So we're going to not fool around this time. I'm not going to take any chances to die, so we're going to AF quickly right there and then. Okay, it looks like uh, Meryl actually revives herself. I'm not sure how many times, but I guess we can count uh, together and see uh, how many times we have to fight it. So. Obviously, being that she's non-elemental, I think you can use any of the four elements to be her. Uh, bearing in mind that I'm um, not sure if being that uh, if you use an elemental zone, I'm not sure if it enhances her attacks as well. Because keep in mind that even though hers is a colorless or non-type type of attack, apparently um, you can actually boost the effectiveness of um, her attacks with uh, elemental resistance down. So keep that in mind as well. So that being said, I'm not using any zone, but I will try it for the level 10. Let me know in the comments below if you found that by establishing zone that she does more damage to you than, for example, to myself, where she only did, you know, a few hundred damage under a thousand for sure. And again, keep in mind, this is only the first battle. So um, if she's reviving herself a number of times and she has any sort of um, significant amounts of damage, we're going to be in some uh, load of trouble here. Okay, so no physical attacks yet that we can see. Um, obviously, Aurora Force only lasts two turns, and I think that because I kill her... Um, there you go, physical attack right there. Because I kill her off, it probably resets her um, cycle. Okay, so I guess third time's the charm. We took her down, and let's see what the... Uh, let's see the weapon that we get here. So obviously, since she's called Sanctuary, uh, I believe that... Mario's manifest weapon will be also called Sanctuary, and we'll have obtained it for the first time. Very nice, actually. The gold um, staff. All right. Nice. Okay, so now that we've gotten two manifest battles out of the way, time to go to the sealed realm and burn a bunch of red keys. Um, I was saving all my red keys from this week. I haven't bought any using Sabir's gems yet. So I'm planning to uh, buy as many as I can and hopefully get these uh, level 10 battles out of the way in the next couple of days. And of course, uh, later on tonight, I'll uh, go over the uh, Should You Summon series for this week's banners. There you go, another gold badge, 50 stones. Nice. I can definitely use more. Here's my loadout. Uh, realize that um, you know, with the fire team, these are heavily grasted, and so that does make my fire team uh, among the more powerful elements that I have access to. I'm hoping that I can take down AS Suzette uh, quite easily. Uh, I can definitely use uh, fire zone versus her, so I'll probably do that for the level 10 fight. And for this one, I'll have to experiment and see if the um, zone does increase damage against us, or if not. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.